Why isn't tidal energy the best and most cost-effective way to generate power? This is complicated, but it really comes down to two things. First, it is darn expensive to construct anything in the ocean. We have a hard enough time maintaining things that are built on the edge of the ocean, with salt water splashing up against it and all the corrosion that comes with that, much less putting it in the ocean. But let's say you did that. Let's say you built the infrastructure on the ocean bottom to harness the tides. Do you think that that's going to have zero impact on the ecology? Because it's probably going to be more than zero. I mean, let's be honest. There's a bunch of things that we have built in freshwater that we assumed would have minimal impact on the environment. And then that later turned out not to be the case. Building infrastructure in salt water would be no different. The largest tidal power station in the world right now is in South Korea. The way it works is straightforward. You've got this natural bay. They block off a portion of it with this dam. And as the water rises and falls on the ocean side, the difference in hydraulic head allows this hydroelectric station to function. This is a pretty cool system, but the ecological impacts are pretty steep. For one thing, any natural migration from the river system out to the ocean or from the ocean back into this estuary is now blocked or seriously disrupted. Second, you're taking an area that's used to a natural tidal flush and changing it. Now it experiences a very different type of tidal flush that I'm sure the local shellfish population is not ready for. Same goes for all these tidal marshes and wetlands. Now, for whatever reason, the government of South Korea has decided that it's worth it in this case. They're willing to sacrifice one small ecosystem in exchange for clean energy. And I personally respect that decision. But it's a good reminder that everything in clean energy has its costs. There's no free ride, no free lunch, and no solution without consequences.